In this video, I'm going to show you the best match beater in Madden 22 post-patch, guys. My name is Cody. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch the video. If you're looking to get better at this game, be sure to subscribe. I upload new videos every single day that can help you get better. And today, we're talking about some match concepts. Uh, I will tell you that match defense, by and large, actually was fairly improved by the patch. Uh, we actually have a match defensive guide where we walk you through step-by-step -step exactly what the match concepts are. That being said, there's obviously every now and then you'll come across a beater. And so I wanted to talk about that today. Now, this can be found in almost every playbook that has gun bunch. You can run this concept. Now, you can do this out of other formations as well. But in my personal opinion, it works best when you are running it out of the gun bunch. And so I've got the big nickel defense uh, opened up here. And I'm just going to come out in the cover four palms. And on bunch, uh, I'm going to come out in the play Z spot and go. Now, uh, real quick, just so you know, um, actually, you know what? Let me pause real quick. Let me just kind of break down what we were able to do against match and now what we're not able to do because of the latest patch. So um, the play clear out FC out, which is one of the best plays in the game up until this latest patch, um, what we were able to do was basically could put a corner route to R1 and then the circle would get wide open. But as you see right here, he gets covered perfectly in match coverage, just like he's supposed to. Okay, and most people would put a deep half over there, um, and, and, and that's not really necessary anymore because of this patch, right? Now, if I were to go to the play flood, you're going to see that the same basic thing. This circle receiver, which was normally someone that could beat the match, is no longer able to beat the match. So we have to come up with a solution or something different that we can do to beat match. And here is my preferred way uh, to beat match. What I like to do is I like to go to the play Z spot and go. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to streak my tight end and put my circle receiver on an out route. I'm going to then motion my circle receiver to the numbers, let him set his feet, and then I'm going to snap the ball. And what you're going to see right here is that this R1 is going to absolutely kill the match coverage. Now, guys, if you want to learn my entire Gun Bunch offense, Gun Bunch has been the meta for years, and I took a stab at it this year. Now, what I wanted to do is I wanted to break down the Bunch meta offense. And what I meant by that was I wanted to break down every single Bunch, not just Seattle, not just Carolina, not just Washington, but every single Bunch, whatever the most effective Bunch is at that time, um, I wanted to break it down. And I also wanted to give you updates throughout the season because as the game changes, as we get patches, different route combinations become more or less effective. And so that's what's happened with the gun bunch. We've got a new route combination, um, a new old one, because this was something that was really good last year, but it wasn't this good specifically against match coverage. You're gonna see again, I'm just gonna motion out the circle receiver. Um, I, could, I don't even have to do that. If I have a corner route, that's all I need. Just a simple corner route. What you're gonna see is gonna get wide open, do a rat catch, and if you got a fast slot receiver, you can turn this into a one play touchdown. Now, before I go, I wanted to quickly mention my true fan Patreon membership. What my Patreon membership is, is if you are looking to get better at the game and you don't just want to get the bunch offensive guide, but you want to get everything. You want to get my bunch guide, my bunch tight end guide, uh, my trips tight end, which is I just released last week, which is in probably my personal favorite offense right now. Um, all of my defensive ebooks, I have seven defensive guides over there, three through five, three through five wide, big nickel, uh, two, four, five, or um, not two, four, five, but three, three, five will, two, four, five odd, uh, nickel triple. We have a ton of defensive guides over there, and we've got way more, a lot more coming. So if you want to learn all of that stuff for just $10 a month, $10 a month, you can join my true fan membership or my Patreon. Again, that is just two for two or uh, 10 bucks a month. You get unlimited access to absolutely everything everything that I release over the course of the Madden 22 season as long as your subscription is active. Now, right there, um, you saw that I got bumped up a little bit. I'm not quite sure what happened. Let me show you that one more time. So again, we're just going to go back to that same play. I think I just got bumped weirdly. But the beauty of this is the other thing that's really good about the Z spot play is if you wanted to, you could put the out the backside guy on a out route and then you could have that uh, running back streak. That's really gonna put your user in a bad position. And as you see right here, probably nine times out of 10, if not 10 times out of 10, you're going to kill match coverage. Now, one last thing before I go, I wanna show you what most people are gonna do once they see you do this. They're gonna do an age old adjustment against bunch whenever someone's playing match, is they like to put that guy in a deep half, that safety goes into a deep half. And that's really, I think, where this play really shines is if they do that, whoops, I apologize, I forgot to audible to Z spot and go. But if they do that, they're not gonna be in much better of a position. So again, we're just gonna go to cover four. I've got that right there. So you see there, there's a cover four, uh, match D. And then we're gonna go with this. And like I said, the backside, you don't have to do this. You could block the running back and just do a dig route on the backside if you want to. It, it doesn't really matter. But what you're gonna see here is this R1, 
is still going to get open. Now, he's not necessarily going to get a one play unless you can make a spin, but it's still a huge gain against against uh, quarters and palms and cover six. And the beauty of this is it doesn't matter what match. It doesn't If it's quarters, if it's palms, it, it really isn't going to make that big of a difference in terms of how they're going to play it. I think it gets more open um, in a situation like where it's quarters because you're gonna, what you're going to see is you know he's just going to get more open. And then oftentimes that tight end streak is another thing to watch out for. And again, you have to remember, most people, most people will still do this. Every, almost everyone that I know that runs a lot of match coverage will still put that deep half out there. And when they put that deep half out there, especially against this route combination, they're screwed. There's really nothing they can do to stop this corner route. You'll see right here, just pass lead up and to the right. As you see, I mean, that's a 35-yard dot over the top of a match coverage. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn everything that I have to tell you about Madden 22, all of my eBooks, all of my offensive and defensive guides, all my exclusive tips, everything that I know about this game, you can get all of that for just $10 a month. And you can cancel whenever you want. So you don't have to, it's not $10 a month for the rest of your life. It's $10 a month for whatever you want to cancel it. Um, and you can cancel it anytime. But as long as your subscription is active, you get complete access to everything. So I'd encourage you to join it. There's a link in the description below. Be sure to go join it right now. Thanks for watching the video and we'll see you guys later.